is a soil moisture sensor water valve based on the Arduino platform. I'm showing three sensors, one in water, one in medium wet soil, and then one in drier soil. Each of those sensors are reading the soil moisture content and they're feeding their data into an LCD display. So we can take a closer look at that display. This is the LCD. It's cycling through each sensor. First sensor is in water, that's why it's the highest. And the second sensor is in pretty moist soil, 798, and the third is in slightly drier soil. It's coming in at around 709. The idea is that as the sensors emit lower and lower readings, they'll cr eventually cross the threshold and the Arduino will then trigger a an output to this solid state relay which will open my water valve from this lead. Solid state relay is powered from this eventually we'll see that in my timing or my power source outside but that will be t uh, powered with a 24 volt VAC and it's coming in across this bar down into the, the relay. This right here is my uh, manual trigger so it'll interrupt the, the uh, loop, the void loop and um, also trigger a water event so you can do it either way. So just to see that how that works you can first trigger a, a manual water event by pressing that button and you'll see that the display will change. It'll be going to watering and then that LED turns on and I'm only having it cycle through a few <coughs> seconds of watering just for demonstration purposes and now it'll go back to the sensors. And if we want to trigger it through a sensor I can see what happens if I pull out sensor 2. Just lay that there. When it gets to sensor 2 that'll indicate that it's a zero uh, dryness so it's going to start watering again. And once it's done with the watering cycle it'll cycle through the sensors again. There's sensor 3, sensor 1, and then 2 it'll, it'll do it again because I left the sensor out. But if we put it back in um, when the watering goes off, um, and it, now it's cycling back through the sensors, it will, uh, it, it reads the set sensor 2 at 817, so that's above the threshold. Um, so now what we're going to do is take a look outside and see how I'm going to hook this up into my existing uh, water timer. So I'm going out to the garden now. And uh, this is the bed where I'm going to water with this system. And um, it's fed through this valve box. Get over here. And this is the valve that I'm going to use. And it's got this blue wire coming in here. Again, this is a 24 volt VAC. So. Potentially I would have these sensors put in various locations in this bed and they would detect a dryness of soil in their region and it would trigger that valve there and then the water would come in. So you can take a look at my current setup which has this valve uh, on my timer. So this is the way I currently have it set up. There's my uh, the wire that goes to the valve that I'm going to try to control with this system. And I'm going to use these 24 VAC uh, out um, components to drive the valve from my or, uh, from the signal that's coming from my uh, solid state relay. So let me go ahead and get that set up. Arduino is now does. being powered by this AC adapter. You can see it's going into the AC adapter port there. And 
my solid state relay is being powered through this 24 VAC on this bar right there. You can see the sensors are all reading approximately the same moisture content. Um, that line right there again is going to is going to travel down here and it's connected to the wire on my on the solenoid on the valve. Uh, uh, both the common or the ground from the 24 VAC out and this is the ground for the valve and then this is the ground it's connected to the whole circuit. All of those are on the same ground. Um, so again, we can trigger this um, this watering event in two different ways. Either one of the sensors reads a low value, so we can try that. And what we should expect is that the LCD will indicate that it's watering this light, this LED will, will come on and uh, this relay will send the signal to the valve to to open. So let's go ahead and we can just try it here. We'll go ahead and take out the uh, sensor. Now it's going to be watering. So now we can go over here and you can see that my So it, it, it came from this valve, and now it's watering this bed. And I took the end off this drip hose so you could just see the water coming out. So I set it for a little bit longer than I was showing before, so I'd have time to get over here. But um, this will go for about 20 seconds. So let's go ahead and get back here and put the sensor back in. And I'll just demonstrate the same thing with the manual turn on. So if I hit that button, it again triggers a watering event. It's watering. Well, that's really all I wanted to show. If you have uh, any questions, you can put them in the comments. And if you'd like to see a copy of the sketch, there should be a link in the description. Thanks for watching.